Hi, it's Kim. I just wanted to pop in to share a really cool story. My niece just found out she got into um, the college she's been wanting to go to, and it was you know, really interesting path to get there. And she was like over the moon, excited, beyond belief, like amazing, amazing. Like <clears throat> as a transfer student, it was like 15 out of a thousand applicants. So she was just really fortunate. Um, but that day, the day she found out, which was yesterday, <clears throat> my sister found a letter that she, you know, my niece had written years and years and years ago that was like a open when, you know, so it was like open when I get married, you know, to, letter to her parents, open when I get married, open this when X, Y, Z happens. And this one was open when I get into college. And she wrote the letter. Oh, I know this is like so far away. It feels so weird to even be talking about this. Uh, but today's the day you found out, you know, where I'm going to go to college. And I'm probably um, beaming with smiles. And is it uh, this school? Is it that school? And like named the school that she ended up, you know, now going to in this letter. So it was just so synchronistic. And the thing I've been showing her for, for a while now is that she is a creator. You are a creator. Your words will create. Your intention will create. And when we choose you know, to, to put, to vest into that, to invest in that and to stand for that, it, 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 it empowers our creation. You know, we already are creating. It's just, do we empower our creation? Do we choose our choice? Do we, do we stand by our, our heart's desire? Um, so I thought that was such an amazing, amazing story because the other day in the workshop that we had this week, which was really a workshop about increasing your frequency, increasing the frequency of your work and your business and stepping into something higher. And a lot of people were writing, um, oh, my intention is to, you know, um, to share my gifts with the world and to live in abundance. And oh, my intention is to um, bring others into a more awakened state of, of, of joy and love and health and healing. And, um, and it, there were all these really beautiful intentions. And it brought me back to, 10, no, it was 11 years ago, 11 years ago, and I had the intention and I had to refine it and refine it and refine it, of, you know, what I was doing in my life, in my work specifically. And it came out something like, um, I, I share my gifts and shine my light and invite others to do the same. I live in my highest state uh, of abundance and joy and invite others to do the same some kind of mix of that, right? I'm sharing my gifts and living in my highest uh, expression and my highest joy and inviting others to do the same. Now, this didn't like logically mean anything, right? I was in the ER working as a doctor and I'm like, how do I step into that? And it was also, I work as much or as little as I want and I am uh, paid and living a, you know, paid well and living an amazing lifestyle. Now, how did, how could that happen, right? It's like, pfft work as much or as little as I want. Yeah. And so the mind can tell you like, yeah, that's a pipe dream. That's not going to happen just because it doesn't exist in the reality you're currently in. Doesn't mean it's not actually true. Doesn't mean it's not real. And it was a matter of me, like let first of all, letting myself share that even with myself, like letting myself intend that and own that. And like, Whoa, that's really what's in my heart without making it wrong, without crumbling because it just felt so impossible but letting it be written, letting it be shared and expressed. And it reminded me exactly like these people sharing in the workshop the other day, it was exactly the same thing. And I thought, oh my gosh, like I didn't even have a mentor who was doing it, right? Like, you know, we're sharing the Be The Medicine mentorship program and how amazing is it to be able to share with others? Like, yeah, no, this is real. Your heart's desire is real. Stand by your heart's desire. Here's how we create it. And I had um, been working with this coach who was awesome. Uh, and she wasn't living my, my dream. She was, you know, she was doing her thing as a coach. But what I knew was in store for me, like I didn't know anyone who was doing that. Um, so it, it takes so much courage for us to say yes to that massive heart's desire. Because to me, that was like so massive. It was, it was blowing my mind. Like it actually hurt to even acknowledge that desire because I was like, oh, how could that even be? <laughs> um, but to cultivate it anyway is what courage is really all about. And that is when you let your creation be ignited and be empowered. So I wanted to share that today because I know there are so, so many people, which is why I did the workshop to begin with and why I created the Be The Medicine Mentorship Program 
who are creating new structures in the world that don't exist yet. So like I said, just because it doesn't exist in the reality that you're in or that you can see doesn't mean it's not real and doesn't mean it's not really here for you. So I'm so grateful I had even that coach who encouraged me and helped me get this all out at the time. Um, and then I've, I've actually seen all of this, so much of it come to fruition and living this incredible, incredible abundant life. Um, so if you didn't see the workshop, it's at drkimd.com forward slash workshop. It's free. It was a really in-depth exercise and several exercises in there about cultivating that um, heart's desire and letting it actually manifest. Um, and for those of you who are considering working with me in the mentorship, it's a four-month mentorship called Be the Medicine. And that is at drkimd.com forward slash BTM if you'd like to get more information on that. Oh, good. Thank you, Lena. Great workshop. Nadine, I've been vibrating at a higher frequency consistently for the last few days, partly because of you. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Oh, thanks, Nadine. Ah, oh, you're an OG, Kim. What's an OG? Hello, Taylor. This is such a beautiful reminder. Love this. Hello, beautiful Renaissance redhead. All right, great to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, Shami, I'm a doctor pharmacist, 31 years old. I'm so happy I stuck it through school for 20 years. Yeah, you have to find what's, what is my dream and you'll find the path and you'll have the strength and the resources for the path. Young women should keep shooting for the stars. Yeah, that's what I've told her. She has definitely been uh, really inspired by her own, you know, her own inner inner heart's desires and is following them. So that's amazing to see. In fact, my sister, Kristen Garrity is in Instagram. I think it's just called Kristen Garrity. And she shared the video of, of Maggie actually finding out. She was, you know, in the computer and she's like, <gasps> you know, and it was like, I hope you're sitting down. And then you click the next button and then, you know, it announces that, uh, you know, she was, uh, she was uh, accepted. OG is original gangster. Oh, I never knew that. That's awesome. Oh, cool, Lena. I don't know what I want to do in the future, but I want to change my job. I'm going to do your BTM program. Oh, that is so exciting. So exciting. So exciting. Yeah, it's definitely um, a ripe time because so many people are in that realm of like, just like you said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know it's not this. I know it's something bigger. And so how do we step into that expansion and how do we change our relationship with life as we know it, with money, with work with myself and what I think I'm capable of or not capable of. How do I change that so I can see more possibility and really start to let in the um, the light? Like it's right here. So so stay with that. Feel with that. We are all moving more and more into like the real world, which is the free world. It's the organic world of like you actually living what is your truth as opposed to the the structure, you know, the old program. So, so bravo to you. Thank you for being here. Sending you lots of love. So the workshops at drkimd.com forward slash workshop. It's free. It's still up for viewing, I think for a couple more days. And then the program is at drkimd.com forward slash BTM. And I am so grateful for everyone who's joining us for that. All right. Lots of love. Bye.